lovelies. Oh yeah, Gemma, brilliant. Start the vlog with the light behind you so no one can actually see your face. Let me turn round. Well, that's better, isn't it? Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome back to another vlog. I am so excited to vlog today. I just feel like, I just feel really happy to be chatting to you guys today and I feel like I've got loads of updates. Today's a big day, hence why I've got the largest cup, which is the size of my actual head. Um, filled with the strongest coffee you will ever taste. Today's a big day because I have the treacherous task of sorting my wardrobe out today, which when I moved into this house, I made myself a promise that I would keep it organized. And I broke that promise again. I do this every single time. I just feel like at the moment with everything going on, I just wanna keep busy and distract myself and just feel really organized and get rid of things that I don't need or want and have space and have a really clear house. So that is kind of my mission this week, I guess. I just wanna like clear my mind of any unnecessary things. Like I just had a load of stuff to do on my laptop. I had a load of bills to pay and just things that I kept putting off and I've just done them. And it's actually the best feeling ever. So if you have anything right now that you've been meaning to do in your home that you've been putting off and putting off and putting off. I promise you, once you've done it, you will feel so much better. So let me take you into the wardrobe room, also known as the dump. Oh, good morning. Good morning. It's nice of you to join us. So my plan for my wardrobe is, I kind of want to just get all of my big bulky clothes out um, that I'm not really going to wear again until winter because they take up so much wardrobe space. If you guys struggle for storage space like I do, then something that helps me massively when organising my home is, let me spin you around, the JML Vacpack. I always use these, but I've recently discovered the Vacpack Go. I'm going to leave a direct link to these in the description box below because I feel like everyone struggles with storage space. So basically these are portable storage bags and like you can see on the front you can have a big pile of clothes like this and it can be squashed into a little bag like this. They are activated by the touch of a button, they're waterproof, they're airtight, they are perfect for large items like big coats, pillows, duvets. They also protect your clothes from dust and dirt and all sort of things like that. So if you're thinking of having a big wardrobe clear out, then these are brilliant. I plan to just kind of put things in here that I'm not gonna wear and then pop them up into the loft. This is also USB powered too. So in your pack, you actually get two big bags and then two medium sized bags. Now I've just put a big bulky coat in here just to show you how it works. You could fit so much more in this bag, like when they're open, they really are quite big. So you can get loads in there, you could fold a load of clothes up and then all you need to do is plug this in. I've plugged it in with the USB port and then just used my iPhone charger. You could also just plug it into a USB port. And then all you do is attach this to here and press on. And then what it will then do is suck all of the air out and it'll make it really, really flat so it's really easy to store. Like I said, you could get so much more in here. So I'm going to let that do its magic and then I'll show you once it's done and it's actually incredible how much smaller it makes it. So that literally took under five minutes. Once it's done, you just need to remove this and then pop the lid back on and look how small that is. Like, that's actually insane. I just think if you had loads of clothes in there, like, that's so easy to now store. Or I feel like I could even pop a few of these on top of my wardrobe and you wouldn't even be able to see them. But how amazing is that? Like I said, I'll leave a direct link to the JML Vacpack Go in the description box below. Perfect for organising your home and just creating more storage space. I feel like storage space is the one thing I long for in my life. I just long for just all the storage. Right then, got my coffee. Mission wardrobe is about to commence. I don't really know where I'm gonna start to be honest. I think, let me show you. I feel my wardrobes are just a bit of a mess. So this is currently what we're faced with. These boxes up here need sorting out. I need a home for those jeans. Oh my goodness. At the bottom of here, this is kind of just like loungy type things. Like when I first moved in here, this was so organized. I feel like I had a bit of a, 
um, don't know, a bit of like a bit of colour coordination, a bit of organisation in my life, and now it's just turned into a bit of a mess. Also, something else I feel like I haven't told you is my bed is gone. So I currently have an empty bedroom. So my new bed is actually coming tomorrow. Please excuse this. I need to hoover and everything. And that's all the stuff that was under my bed. Unsure why there was a Primark Monopoly under my bed. It's clearly how I have my fun in the evenings. Um, but my new bed is coming tomorrow, which I'm so extremely excited about. Um, I'm currently staying at my mum's, which is actually really, really nice. I thought I'd hate it because, I don't know, I love staying at home so much. But, I don't know, my mum's house is so cosy. And when I was there last night for my first night, I was just laying in bed and I just felt really happy. Like, I was like, this is cute. So, yeah, I'm currently staying there last night and tonight. Um, actually really excited to go back there. But yeah, tomorrow is new bed day, so I'm gonna have a whole new reveal of this room. So excited to see what it looks like. I've also gone for a king size, so I can spread out, which I'm excited for. Anyway, must stop <laughs> can't speak. Must stop procrastinating and get on. I've got a good few hours to do this. Anyway, I'm just talking to put off doing what needs to be done. I'm gonna pop you guys on a little time lapse and I shall see you in a few hours. Stumbling out of bed and I still got you in my head from all those pretty words you said. It's like I'm wasted. Every time I see your face, I'm losing track of time and space. I don't know where I am. It's like I'm wasted. And I won't waste it. And I promise that I, I will stand by you. Oh my forever. god! Look what I've just found! Mine and Sophie's Grinch hoodies. Oh, I want Christmas to be back. Oh my god, where am I going to put the tree in this house? Oh! <gasps> I could have a tree on my landing. How have I not thought about this? This is the most important thing you must consider when moving house. Where is the Christmas tree gonna go? Hmm, I actually feel like I'm panicking about that. That's ridiculous. It's March. I'll make room. If I have to move house to fit a Christmas tree in, you know I will. But, oh my god! Do we think this could go in a vacuum pack? I mean, I don't think I'm going to be wearing this for a good few months yet. Do you ever start a job and just think, why did I start doing that? Like, why? Why, why, why? But then the feeling once it's done is the best feeling in the whole world. So, I must power through. At the moment, I've kind of just... What I usually do when I sort my wardrobes out, I'm talking as if I'm like the wardrobe sorting out connoisseur. I'm not, Sophie is. Um, what I usually do is just get everything out. I make piles like need to hang up, gonna put into storage, and then like just piles. So I've got a pile of joggers, a pile of leggings, a pile of just like tops that I throw on like this. I don't bother hanging stuff like this up because it uses too much room and it doesn't really matter how it looks, like it can be creased to absolute because it's not like you're going to put yourself on the internet in it, Gemma, or anything. But you know. <laughs> um. So yeah, I'm kind of just getting everything out, putting it into piles and then I'll rearrange it. I am nervous to do that. That is something I really don't want to even tackle. Look at all of my Primark jeans. Like, is it normal for one person to have this many pairs of Primark jeans? No, is the answer, it's not. But the mum jeans are just so good, oh god. Since sorting out this side of my wardrobe, I've decided that I have an addiction to joggers, leggings and hoodies. I've got so many of them. Oh no, how did I mind to lose me? Mm. But not just crazy. crazy. Bet you're glad you got music over this. Oh my god, I've just found the cutest pyjamas that my mum got me for Christmas, but because I moved on the 6th of Jan, pretty much straight after Christmas, I didn't get a chance to wear them and they've just been sat at the bottom of my wardrobe. How cute are they? I'm going to have to wear these to mum's tonight because she'd be really happy. And look at the bottoms, they say mini on. 
Oh my god, I'm actually really excited to go and sleep over at my mum's in my Christmas pyjamas. Lordy, lordy, lord. At this point, I'm wondering why I started. So, just gonna have a little break, little coffee break. Um, I don't know if all of you guys follow me on Instagram. You won't know this unless you follow me on Instagram because I haven't actually said anything about it on YouTube. But you guys would have seen that. Let me just pop you down. So, as you guys know, I bought my dream car, which I, oh my God, still can't believe. Um, so I'd had my car for one week and me and Sophie had popped to Stamford to get some content and we were also going to film a come drive with us. I was reversing into a space and a taxi driver just squeezed himself in between me and a lorry and completely took my bumper off. Yeah, that happened. So I got my dream car and then someone went into my dream car, which it's just one of those situations that we can't control. Like I firmly believe there is no point being upset or worried or feeling any kind of way about situations you can't control, which is incredibly hard sometimes. Like as humans, we worry, we worry about things and things upset us, of course they do. So I allowed myself a few hours to cry into my steering wheel and then I pulled myself together and yeah, my car is still actually in the garage. They're having to order new bumper parts. And the reason I'm talking about this now is because whilst I was knee deep in clothes, I actually received a call from his insurance and basically he's denying everything. And I just think like, what yeah i was hoping that he would just not be an idiot about this and just admit what he's done so we could just move on but it's probably gonna have to go to court that's what they just told me on the phone but little does he know the lovely lady who was thank god parked next to me got it all on dash cam um so you can literally see me reversing him beeping and him just scraping past my car so yeah that's kind of just put a bit of a a dampener on my morning but I'm not gonna let it affect me for too long what I usually do is when I get bad news or something happens I let myself be sad for like an hour and then I get on with things put it on a cloud watch it float away and get on with your day you cannot let things control your life because in life a lot of bad things will happen it's what happens and you can't spend your whole life just being sad about crap things that happen so yes that's a little update in my life um <laughs> i can't believe he's denied it what's there to deny when i'm feeling stressed about things or something bad's happened what i like to do is close my eyes i think of whatever it is stressing me out i put on a little cloud and i watch it float away i'm just putting that on the cloud and watching it float away and then I feel all good again. I'm trying to have an intermittent fasting day today. So I'm on the coffee and the water. Today I feel like I could go strong. So I'm going to stick to my coffee. I need to get that room done. Like I think that's knocked me. It stopped my flow. And now I'm like ah, I don't want to do it. But I need to just power on. I know that I'll feel good once I've done it. So I am going to continue doing that. I'm going to show you guys once it's done because that room's like extremely hard to film in because it's quite small. There's nowhere I can put the camera that you can really see like a transformation. Plus also it's not going to be like one of those transformations where it's like, wow, everything looks amazing because I still have so much stuff. So yes, I shall catch you, catch you. Never said that before. I'll catch you guys in a bit. <sighs> Finally finished and i'm so happy about it that took so much longer than expected but i was right the feeling after is the best so just wanted to quickly show you the vac packs once they've got loads of stuff in so these are just filled with loads of winter jumpers that take up loads of room in my wardrobe so i've popped them in here and this is the one i have taken the air out of obviously this is one i haven't as you can see they just go so much smaller 
Like how? How does that even work? So I have got a charity shop bag out there. That needs a new home. I'm unsure where because that's like summer stuff which is definitely not time for yet. So this is the first side of the wardrobe. I have chosen to kind of keep jumpers, cardigans, blazers, um, loungewear sets, and then down at the bottom, I've just got kind of like my everyday jumpers like this one that don't really need hanging up. They're like my, my like loungewear clothes that I wouldn't really want anyone to see me in. Do you know what I mean? Those types of hoodies and joggers. And then I sorted these out. So this one now has shorts. This one has little accessories like little bags, scarves, um, just belts, stuff like that. And then this one on the end has kind of misc items like gym leggings and stuff like that. In the other side, ow the side looks so much better I didn't quite realize I had a pajama box but I do so I filled these ones with shoes this is kind of like more my spring summer side so I've got dresses blouses little tops and again some like cords and stuff like that and then at the top I've just made a pile of joggers leggings and jeans so I feel like everything is so much more together now. I'm not gonna lie, I feel like this was the inspiration for me doing my wardrobe today. So I actually found this in B&M last week and it's basically a spray for your clothes, but it smells unreal. It literally smells like perfume and I just thought this would be really, really, really good to give your wardrobe like a nice little freshen up. So I am just gonna go ahead and spray this all over my clothes because it smells so good. I was thinking as well you could use this in shoes, you could use it in handbags, you can use it on pretty much anything, I'm pretty sure. I thought if you spray it and then close your cupboard, hopefully the smell will like stay in there. I am so happy that's done, but because it took longer than expected, my nail appointment is actually in half an hour, so I don't have time to do anything to myself, so I'm genuinely going to see Jade like this i'm sure she won't mind um so i need to leave in about five minutes actually so i shall next see you for a little time lapse of my nails It's not my fault. You've been lying. Safe. It's all right, everyone. Pets at home came through with the litter. I did panic that I may have to start toilet training Tilly, but they came through. Saw me, I was getting my nails done. How unreal are they? I literally have never been as in love set of nails i just they're just amazing and it's now i'm gonna head over to waitrose because it's just over there um the roads are so weird it's like 5 p.m now and there's just no one around usually at 5 p.m it would be like rush hour but it's like ghost town it's actually so i don't know it feels really strange so i'm gonna pop to waitrose and i feel like i just need to do a little bit of stocking up i want to get some maybe some soups um i need something for dinner tonight and then just some just some food just some food in general so i'm gonna put to wait trays now and then i shall see you guys when i get back finally home in the warm with my food shopping out the miserablest weather look at this it's so dark and dingy and wet but don't you think as soon as you actually get inside it feels really cozy like when you're out in that it's the worst but as soon as you get home you're like I'm really cozy. So I've decided if we get quarantined, I am gonna live on yogurt, rice cakes, and cereal. I got two lots of halloumi because halloumi is life and I genuinely don't think I could go without halloumi for a few weeks. So I thought I better get some of that because that will make me very sad being without halloumi. Then I got some of my favorite yogurts. You guys know these are my ultimate favorite. If you haven't tried these, they taste like strawberry donuts and they're also dairy free. Another new favourite though, which comes close to these, is the Far Yeah. Far Yeah, that's how you say it, isn't it? Pronounced Far Yeah. Yeah, Far Yeah. <laughs> True blend ones. They are delicious. Now, the strawberry ones are the nicest ones, but I thought I'd give the raspberry and mango ones a go. 
Then I got some rice cakes because I thought I could have these with peanut butter. The blueberry and vanilla ones are delicious. They literally taste like a dessert. Then I got some gluten-free granola, which I thought I could have with yogurt. Um, and I also got this special K, which I've never tried before, which is peach and apricot. And then what else did I get? Some watermelon, some strawberries, some raspberries. They're just for the next few days. And then I also got some pita breads and hummus, which I think I'm going to have for dinner tonight. I've done intermittent fasting today and it's now 10 past 6 and I'm like, right, I need food now. Like, I can barely speak. So I'm going to make myself pita bread with hummus and some ham. How random. And then I'm going to head over to mum's. Good morning everyone. I actually can't stop smiling today. Today is the best day. I've just had my new bed delivered and I've just received a phone call saying that my car is ready to pick up. I'm just so happy right now. I literally cannot stop smiling. So before I give you the grand bedroom reveal, um, sorry I didn't vlog last night. I got completely sidetracked, ended up staying at my house until about 8, went to mum's and then I actually went to bed at 9pm and fell asleep at quarter past nine. Like it was an early night for me. Anyway, let me stop rambling and show you probably the reason why you clicked on this vlog which is my new bedroom reveal oh my god you can't even see it let me get behind the camera you'll be happy to know my beautiful new bed in all its glory i am so in love with it i just think it looks so much nicer how incredible is this footstool I love the chrome legs. I'm just so happy. It's also the softest material in the whole world. Also switched up the side tables a little bit. Obviously before my frames were above the bed, but there's a very small gap now there and I don't think they'll really go there. So I've just put one on each side and I've also switched these flowers around with ones downstairs just because I thought the white vase looked so much better then I've got my little Jo Malone candle which I will never burn on here for display and then my Dior book which I got from Amazon um, I need to get another one of those to go the other side I'm thinking of potentially changing these um, I'm not really sure what to let me know what you guys think I'm thinking either something chrome or something white um, but I also changed the lampshade as well just because I felt like this one went in this room a lot better because there's feathers here and these are kind of like floaty and dreamy I I keep describing this room as dreamy I think it's because it's white and fluffy oh my god I'm so happy with it leave a direct link for this bed in the description box below but this is the king size kiddy bed and then the material I went for is soft white velvet which I'm so happy that I chose because it's just beautiful and I also got a new mattress I'll let you guys know how comfy it is I loved my mattress before like it was the comfiest mattress I've ever owned um, but when I was speaking to Phil at Luxury Bed Company he said this one is better let me just give you a little pan I feel like I need to give you a pan to show you it in all its glory oh my god I am in love I know this sounds super cringe but I don't know this is just the bedroom I've always dreamed of I'm not even gonna lie I'm so happy um and then over here I've just bought a bracket off Amazon to put my tv on the wall because if I was to lay in bed that would kind of be in the way so I think that'll look so much better on the wall so my plan now is I'm gonna go pick my car up I literally miss my car so much I haven't had it for a week and I'd only actually had it for a week I just can't wait to see it I feel like I've forgotten what it looks like right then let's go pick up my car and say goodbye to the Jaguar that rhymes poet and I didn't even know it goodbye Jaguar you served me well. I got my car back. I'm literally so happy right now. I could actually cry. Okay, now I've forgotten how to drive a manual. I am in high spirits today. Today is a good day. Is anyone gonna let me out? Come on guys, it's a good day. Anyone know? Dust? Anyone know? Dust? Thank you, Mr. Laurie. Thank you. I've just remembered as well, 
a while back I actually bought some new cushions for my bed and I've just realized they're in the boot because I thought there's no point in me getting them out until my new bed comes and obviously now my new bed's here I could put my new cushions on my bed I found these really cute cushions that pretty much match my curtains in the range was it the range no it wasn't even the range it was next time but how bloody exciting it was way more than a two dollar it was about three minutes ago. Uh -huh. I said three, he said five. Everybody sit your bitch ass down and listen to true motherfucking story told by Kids Lamar Rose Crash. I did not know the words to that. So I decided to come to the co-op, which may have been the worst decision I've ever made to date. Right, this co-op in Yaxley, never busy. Like maximum one or two cars. It's full. Like it's actually full. Mm, do I just go to a different shop? Are they all just gonna be like this? That is the question that everyone would like the answer to. I'm gonna risk it for a chocolate biscuit in the words of Tiny Temper. I'm gonna go in until we pass out, basically. You know, why not? I feel like I'm not even in the lines. Am I? I don't know. Mm. I'm gonna reverse into that spot over there. I feel really like nervous to drive this car now, purely because last time I was driving it, someone took my bumper off. But you can't spend your life being scared of these things. If it's gonna happen to you, it's gonna happen to you. It's fate. Anyway, I'm gonna go into the co-op and I shall see you guys when I'm home. Well, the co-op was total chaos, let me tell you, but I know I keep saying it, but today is a good day because look what I got my hands on. It's only some bloody bread. I never actually quite thought I'd be excited about getting bread, but I am. Because every single shop I've been to so far, there's no bread, there's no egg. I also picked up some coffee because I can handle being stuck in my house, but if I don't have coffee, I can't live. So, I've got some more coffee. I got some fajita cooking sauce with some of these because I actually have some chicken in the freezer, so I thought, ow! Just fell over Tilly's food bowl. Also got some ice cream just for like maybe a Netflix night. These are my two favorite ice creams. The Halo Top birthday cake. These are relatively good for you. 320 calories in the whole tub. If you're having one of them days and you just need to eat a whole tub of ice cream, it's all good. And then the co-op do this one called Good As Gold and this is the cookie dough one, it's so nice. I just can't even think about Easter with no Easter eggs. So I got some Easter eggs. I weren't gonna get myself like a full on Easter egg, thought that was a little bit over the top. So I just got a selection of these mini ones, which I'll probably eat tonight, I'm not even gonna lie. Then I just got some peppers, got Tilly some cat biscuits, just in case we run out. I feel like this is gonna be my content for the next few weeks. What did Gemma find in the co-op today? Supermarket finds. Also, whilst I was driving back from the butchers, I fell into the range. Um, I hate it when that happens. And I bought some new bits. So I'm gonna put all of this away, make myself a cup of tea, and then we can go upstairs and I'll show you like the bits that I got from the range. I've got some really cute bits that you guys will love. Show you my new cushions. And yeah. Also, I spy with my little eye a little pretty little thing parcel out here. And they just throw the parcels over the shed. Actually, I do because it saves me having to go to Royal Mail. So those clothes, actually Sophie's, I'm gonna be filming really, really soon, dressing my best friend like me for a week. So I'm really excited for that video. So let me actually get those parcels instead of just staring at them. If you have a cat, oh my God, Tilly is obsessed with these. You can pretty much get them from anywhere. And she goes crazy for them. Oh yeah, stand right in front of the camera. And in three, two, one, let surely that is not good Tilly you're gonna get indigestion and it's gone literally gone did you just inhale that you greedy little thing I should have checked my teeth I've just had peanut butter on toast to celebrate the fact that I have bread it was so nice I forget how much I love peanut butter on toast it was so yummy so first things first starting with next I popped into next last week before my car got crushed into and before I got my bed because 
I kind of just wanted some like fresh cushions for my bed. I feel like the ones on there right now are kind of cream and I wanted some pure white ones. So I got two of these big plain white ones from Next. These were £16 and they're almost like a velvet so they really 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 match the bed which I'm so excited for. So I got two of those and then I also got two of these. So my little face was so happy when I found these because these match my curtains. So I thought these will kind of tie in with the bed and just look really, really nice. And these were £16 also. How expensive are cushions? 16 bloody quid! And because the wind blew me into the range today, obviously had to pick up some things. It'd be rude not to. So I got some duck feather cushions to go inside of these so I can chop them. Um... I never knew that was a trick until my friend Hayley told me a little while ago and I was like oh my god because whenever I'm in a shop I always look for the cushions that you can like chop and they say like it but I can never see them and I'm like where do people get these cushions from? Big ones were £8 and then I also got two smaller ones to go in these cushions which were I think £5. Then from the range I picked up boring just an undersheet because I don't have enough undersheets and oh my god this is so cute so this is heavy picked up this gorgeous marble cutting board but it's got this like blush pink marble on it as well which i just thought was so pretty i am gonna use this for like cheese boards i was gonna say when i entertain but i never entertain when i have dinner parties Gemma, you never have dinner parties but i just thought this would look cute with like little bits on to go on the worktop so that's why i got it Maybe it was a bit unnecessary. It's so cute though. And that was $14.99. And then, there's another cushion cover there. I also picked up, now I feel like I'm being a little bit sad about this, but when I saw these, I just nearly jumped out the bloody skin. So I picked up these rose gold bacon trays. How unreal are they? Always in need of bacon trays because I am that person that burns things to them and then they're a nightmare to clean. But these were really cheap. I think these were like five pounds. And then I also got the kind of like roasting dish as well. And I also got a little loaf tin so I can make my little banana bread in there, which I thought was really cute. Last but definitely not least, I got some command strips because you can never have enough of these. Um, these are brilliant. I put up pretty much everything in my house with these, like any frames or anything. I never, ever, ever put holes in the wall anymore. I always just use command strips. They are brilliant. You can also get these on Amazon as well. I don't know where my scissors have gone, so I'm going to have to use a knife, which is now just gone. Oh, no. Definitely not very safe. Don't try this at home. Use scissors. I'm excited to have karate chop cushions. The Ellie doesn't want to go in there. Come on. Ow. Hmm. Maybe I needed two. It looks a bit sad and empty. So here are the cushions. I actually love these so much more. I love how these go with the curtains. And then this goes with those cushions. I'm just so happy with this room. Oh my gosh. So when I was in the range, I did see some lamps that were beautiful. They were like quite tall. Um, they had silver bases and then a white shade, but they were like £40 each and I just didn't want to spend £80 on lights. So I'm going to keep these for now and then maybe one day when I can depart with the money, I will get two new ones. But I'm so happy with this room. Good morning, guys. Happy... Oh my god, what day even is it? Sunday. Happy Sunday. The last time I spoke to you guys was on Friday. I seem to have skipped a few days. This vlog has kind of been all over the place and I just want to apologise for that. Um, I feel like it resembles my life right about now. It's currently March and I'm drinking my morning coffee out of a Santa mug. Um, it's just a little bit crazy right now. So I'm sorry if this vlog is just kind of all over the place. Um... Yesterday was obviously Saturday, of course, because it's Sunday today, and I didn't really get up to much. I had a few emails, like, I just had a clearing up kind of day. Um, also, sorry that each day I'm kind of cutting the evenings out as well. I am not going to lie, my evenings are so 
boring right now i'm going to bed at like 9 p.m like i'm just so tired so i didn't want to bore you with kind of like an evening of me eating my dinner and going to bed and i'm not even making exciting dinners either like i've literally been having either cereal porridge or jacket potatoes and tuna so there really hasn't been much to report on i'm taking a little road trip to the beach today we're going to wells next to the sea if you haven't been there and you are close to there it's about an hour and a half from me but it's just the most peaceful place i love it so much if i could choose anywhere to go it would actually be wells like it's such a sentimental place to me because me and my family used to go on like holidays there we used to stay in one of the static caravans and i feel like it's just got such a nice just happy vibe so i'm really excited to go there today we're going to go for a nice long walk which will be so nice to get some fresh air and i always feel really peaceful when i'm in well it's the most gorgeous day outside as well it feels very springy today it feels like spring has begun actually I think today is the first day of spring. Mm. I'm just going to do my eyebrows today and pop loads of moisturiser on because my face is so dry. And then I'm going to attempt to put my hair in a messy bun, but we all know when we actually want a messy bun, it doesn't bloody happen. When we're going in the shower, you get the most unreal messy bun. Like, why is that? Okay, messy bun attempt number one. I feel like this looks like I've just got out of bed. I kind of wanted it to be like messy, but look like I've meant for it to be messy. Whereas I feel like this just looks like Gemma, you've just jumped out of bed and forgot to do your hair. But I'm going to the beach, so does it really matter? Anyway, I have realized I forgot to tell you guys a huge life update. I got glasses. I basically can't see um, and I've been meaning to go to the opticians for the longest time. I finally went a few weeks ago and they basically said, Gemma, you need glasses. So I need glasses for like driving, reading, watching TV, pretty much everything, but not all the time. So I thought we could do a little glasses try on haul. So first of all, I got these Victor and Rolf ones. Now you guys know I love like a round glasses, glass, I was gonna say glass. So I got these ones. Oh my God, it's actually like crazy when I put these on that I can actually see. They did offer me an add-on service, which made your glasses not have a reflection. I thought it was a rip off, but now I'm starting to think maybe I should have gone for that option. Maybe it wasn't like one of those add-on things that you don't actually need. So I met the nicest girl ever in Specsavers who fitted my glasses. And she was just so cute. She said that her, her mum and her sister all sit down to watch my videos, which is just so cute and kind of surreal at the same time. So if you're watching, hello. So these are the Tommy Hilfiger ones. Which ones do you prefer? One or two? I like these, but feel like they're very much like hi I've got glasses on do you know what I mean anyway off to the beach we go oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and I am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything I like the way you're thinking I come on and end the vlog that was the windiest walk ever but i'm just so happy to be here and it was so nice and refreshing and i'm looking forward to getting home and getting all warm again and just having a cozy night in front of the tv so yeah thank you so much for watching this vlog I'm actually a little bit out of breath, I'm not going to lie. Like I said before, if there's anything you guys would like to see that you think would be nice at this time, then just let me know in the comments box below. I feel like I can't speak because my mouth is so cold. I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough, 
and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, I just have to follow that, because you don't know who you are.